So sub YouTube, this is another uh, tutorial, but this time this one is for Vegas. Mm. In this one, I'll be showing uh, guys how to to put in lower thirds on uh, on Vegas, cause some of you are having problems now. First things first, you need to have the lower thirds. If you know how to make your own lower thirds, well that's good if you don't know how to make your own lower thirds okay maybe some of you don't know what lower thirds are lower thirds are these uh, these like titles that run on the mix like these are lower third these are lower third and these are lower third now there are also lower thirds for lower thirds for uh, what do we call them mm. Sorry, I'm grabbing my keyboard. There are also lower thirds for, for 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 social media, like those ones that I say, if you want to follow me on Facebook, this is my Facebook media, uh, Facebook uh, handle. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram handle. Even those ones are called lower thirds. Now, one of you asked me, how do you put them on? Uh, how do you put them on on? How do you put them on uh, on what? How do you put them on on Vegas? So, uh, I make my own lower thirds, but I don't really make them. All I do is I go on the internet. I will download a template, either a Photoshop template or uh, an Adobe After Effects template. Then I will edit it on Adobe and render it on after effects and render it or on photoshop and render it now photoshop will render a picture or a png this one has no motion it's just a still picture that doesn't move but if you use adobe after effects to make your lower thirds then your lower third will have motion it will be moving it will be coming in into your screen and coming out now this one that you that i've highlighted this one that i've highlighted this one i've done on i've done on uh, i've done on what i've done i've rendered it from uh, photoshop and this one i've rendered from uh, from adobe after effects because you see it's uh, it, it has motion it's so it's like a, a small animation now uh depending on who's doing uh, your uh, your lower thirds for you some will render them with a background maybe because they don't know how to render them without a background or they want you to use what we call a chroma key on vegas to remove the background but for someone who's doing for you professional lower thirds they should render it in such a way you should come direct onto Vegas and they should show you like I'm going to show you how to get it to show without a background so if you have your lower third rendered on uh, Photoshop they should render it as a PNG PNG basically means this uh, lower third doesn't have a background so if like I come and drag this and drop this here let me let me just drag and drop them both one from uh one from uh one from what one from photoshop and the other one from uh, after effects now you come and drag and drop them uh, there, there 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 are a few settings that you need to change so that they can show up on they can show up on uh, on 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 your Vegas. Now, the ones that have been done on uh, on Photoshop are very easy because you see, if they've been rendered as a PNG, then you'll notice they don't have a background, so they'll just show. Like this one, it has been done on Photoshop, and I rendered it without a background, so it doesn't have a background, so it will just show up. What you just need to do is maybe. Uh, place it where you want to place it. Mostly people will place their lower thirds on the bottom left 
uh, side of the screen of the of the of, uh, on the bottom left part of the screen some will do it in the middle here some will do it on the uh, bottom right side of the screen how do you do that how do you change uh, your your lower third is going to be so if you want to change your lower third position you just come and click on this icon sorry my laptop is a bit slow so just bear with me and then this window shows up if you notice if I move uh, this box even the lower third moves if I move it up it moves if I want to make it uh, smaller all I have to do is zoom out or drag this box out making it smaller now then I can come and align it Combo. Bottom, uh, let me mute. Let me, let me, which one am I supposed to? Sorry, this is a project that I'm doing, so I'm using it to show you. I need to, um, <laughs> okay, let me just get this out of the way like that so that the lower third will be seen. So, yeah. Yeah, and here it is. So, once you've uh, been able to set it, like for example, if you want it here, then you can have it here. If you want it in the middle, you'll just come and move this. And you see, every time I move this box, it will move where I want it to be. Let me zoom it out so that you can see. See, this is the screen. And anywhere, anywhere the, you put this uh, lower third, if you put, if if we assume this is a screen, if you put it here in the middle, then even on the actual screen, it will be in the middle. If you put it on the bottom uh, right side of the screen, even here, that's where it will be. And so that is how you place it, uh, place your lower thirds. If you want it to become bigger, you just come and make that box smaller and then make sure it is inside the box. Like so, if you want in the middle, like that, on the bottom left side, if you want it on the top, so yeah, basically I hope you get uh, how you place it. Now, we are going to close this. Then I'm going to show you how you do the other one from... Uh, how you do the other one from... Uh, the one that's been rendered from... Uh, uh, been rendered from uh, what? Been rendered from... Yeah, rendered from Adobe After Effects. So let's drag and drop it here I'm doing it on this part so that you can see yeah you can see or uh, you can be able to see how I'll be removing the background now like this one just because you see it has a black screen let me open it uh, just because you see it has a black screen doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, it has a background it doesn't have a background but you need just to uh, play with the settings from uh, Vegas just a bit and this background will disappear now there are two ways on Vegas you can remove this uh, you can remove this what you can remove uh, the you can remove this background one is the chroma key the chroma key and here it is you just come drag and drop this in there now if the background is black you come here and change this to black so you just make it black and you see it it appears if I put it back like you see if the background is black you just need to set this to black and just like that you have your you have your you have your whatever you have your you have your your lower third showing now i don't like using the chroma key because what the chroma key does it's like it removes it will remove everything that's black and remove and 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 uh, leave all the all other colors that will be in that in that whatever in that uh, lower third like for example if in this uh, in this lower third 
they would have been this box would have been like okay let me actually let me show you because i can see what i'm trying to explain to you so let's remove it let's remove the chroma key come here if you want to remove it just click on that then click on that and it's out now mm, what the chroma key does it will remove everything that's black and uh, leave all these other colors so if you have black text or black uh, black black boxes that are running in your uh, in your lower third the chroma key will remove them and so some things might disappear and that is why i don't like using it there is another way where you can make this uh, this uh, lower third show up without a background so you just come here uh, and uh, right click on your keyboard on your mouse go to properties and select media when come here and choose this and just say okay and you see my lower third shows up you see now if i put the chroma key all this black and all this black will show so now having done that you can come and now set your set your whatever uh, set your what is it called you can come now and set it where you want it to be for example if i want it to be sm a bit smaller i'll just zoom out a bit and now set it where i want it to be and just like that we have our lower third this lower third has motion i wish i would be able to play it for you guys so that you can see but damn this laptop i know it won't allow let me let me try and see if it play <laughs> to set up your lower thirds uh, if you want lower thirds uh, I'll do the okay the I always put my number on the description the first three guys that will hit my inbox no let, let me put five the first five guys who will hit my inbox I will make for you free lower thirds so what you need to do you just in first of all if you're not uh, 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 if you're not one of my subscribers subscribe hit my inbox with your social media handles that's facebook instagram whatsapp uh, twitter if you do twitter if you do snapchat come on my inbox with your social media handles and then i'll make for you for free the the lower thirds so that being said and done this is the end of this tutorial <sighs> till next time up people peace oh yeah uh, this is an intro it's not it's not kind of an intro it's like a promo it's a promo that i was doing for someone just trying out uh, to see if i can do promo 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 videos for it's a uh, it's kind of an intro or a promo for for an event yes it's very possible to scratch on vendors but it took me a while to learn how to do it and wow hey. yeah it, it did take me a while mm, let me show you just one last scratch and this will be the end of this tutorial <laughs> Yeah, I just
just want guys to see that it's very possible to scratch on Vegas. So till next time, peace.